Hello and welcome to our lecture video that covers how to do pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. Pivot tables are frequently used uh, quite a bit in accounting and finance and um, so I wanted to make sure everybody kind of knew some of the basics of pivot tables. I mean you're obviously not going to become an expert in pivot tables uh, from this class but I want you to be exposed to them and you also need to know pivot tables in order to do your uh, case that covers Excel in managerial accounting, okay? So with that, um, if you go on the canvas, you can find this file, and I'll move this up. It's called pivot table demo .xls like this, okay? Um, and then I also have over here the pivot table demo solution. Both files are posted up on canvas under modules. Always look under modules on canvas, not files, because modules is the most recent, okay? So the pivot table, uh, this is our base data over here, and you can see we have our voter, and we can uh, we can see whether their uh, their party's Republican or Democrat, the precinct, and then the age group. And if I scroll down, uh, you can see all the way down here different age groups and different dates, last voted, years registered, and so on and so forth. Okay. So in order to do a pivot table, I'm just going to do something pretty basic. Is you're just going to come over here to insert, and then you're going to go pivot table. Okay. And when you do that, Excel makes a guess at what your pivot table is. And so one of the things you'll always want to double check is to make sure that the range that Excel guesses uh, is correct. Okay. In this case, it is. And so the other thing is you can put, you says choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. You want to put it on a new worksheet or existing. I want to put it on a new worksheet. So I'm going to say new worksheet. Okay. Uh, I think it's easier to put on a new worksheet. I'm sure there's different press preferences on that. That's just my preference, okay? So then I hit OK, and then it comes over here. Now, what a pivot table do does is it allows you to slice and dice data to uh, to make decisions, basically. It's a decision-making tool. And like I said, it allows you to see different variants of data and to, to sum data different ways and count data different ways. And so... To do the pivot table, if I look back over here at my uh, solution, I just want to kind of replicate this. You can see we've got precinct as the as the filter, so that means I'm going to bring precinct down here. So that comes down. I just grab it like this. I'm going to have to move this over here. Okay, so you can see precinct, and I just pull this down to filters. Okay, and you should have something like this that shows up when you have your pivot table. Okay, and then so that shows my precinct. And then I'll come back over here, okay? And what I want, if I look back over here at my solution, I want last voted as my column, okay? And then I want party as my rows, okay? And then my values, I'll have um, number, so that will be voter, okay? So I'll bring that down over here to values, okay? And what I want to do is I want to come in here. I want to change this to save our value field settings like this. And I want it to be our count. Okay. I want it to be our count. Okay. So then we have something like this. And then you can see it matches up with our solution. And the cool thing is you can see you can come over here. And um, I'll bring, bring drag this back up. And I can say, well, I don't want the all precincts. I just want it for this precinct. And then it'll slice and dice the data just like that for you. And I can say, well, I want it for this precinct. Okay? So pivot tables are very powerful tools. Okay? And I can even select multiple items if I wanted to. Um, and I can come over here and say, well, I didn't want all, all um, parties. So I want to say, I just want the green party. Okay? And then that shows how many voted by date like this across. And that's what that's saying. And then it, of course, gives you the grand total. So hopefully by doing this, you kind of get a little bit more of an idea of the purpose of a pivot table. It allows you to slice and dice the data. Okay? Um, so you come back over here, and I can say select all again. Let me go, and I'll say, I'll click off that, and I'll say Republican. Okay? And those are the Republicans in the, when they last dated. Uh, last voted, I'm sorry. <laughs> And we can come over here and we can say, I'll select all, um, click off that, i say Democrat. Here we go. Okay. And so um, pivot tables, like I said, they're just a data analysis tool 
they allow you to slice and dice data to see data different ways. And so if we come back over here, I'll drag this back over here, we can see here's our pivot table ta tables. And when you first set up your pivot table like that, it'll make your guess. You know, Excel makes a guess about where you want, you know, what the data, the source data is for your, for your pivot table. Make sure that's right. And then basically, I just like to put it on a new spreadsheet, uh, pardon me, a new worksheet. And then you can come over here and start dragging. The columns go across like that. The rows go down. And then the values are what shows up in the intersection of the rows and columns, what actually shows up in the cells. And then the filter, we set our precinct, and then that allows us to select and filter the data at the top. Okay, so of course this is our filter. Here's our columns, our rows down like that. And then remember what we did when we initially said voter, right, which is how many people, the name basically, um, is going to go through and sum those, sum those folks. Uh, and we didn't want to sum, we just wanted to count. Okay, so if you look back at the data, over here, you can see the voter, actually it's it's not the name, it's the voter ID. And so it did, Excel did make an initial guess at summing, but we don't want to sum that, we just want to count it. Okay, so what I did is I came back over here like this, and as I came over here, remember I went to value field settings, and I said, don't sum it, you could sum it, it doesn't really make sense to, it makes a lot more sense to count it, okay? So with that, I'm going to close out of the, these, and I'm going to look at a second uh, spreadsheet that we have up here, and this is also posted under um, on Canvas. And so if you look up your AIS educators file that's up on Canvas under modules, and then the solution, double-click that one, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, click over here. And I have to say enable editing like that. And then I'll come over here and I'm going to click on the solution. And I'll say enable editing like that again. Okay. Hope this isn't making you too dizzy about dragging around. I only can show part of the screen with this software. Okay, the screen capture software. So I'll come over here and the first thing, so I'm not looking at the solution file. This is just our AI educators. And I just brought the solution just to check our work. So what you can see is we have sales data here. We have the invoice, and we have the date, and the representative, and then the customer. This is our sales rep, the customer. We categorize, is it retail, is it academic sales, and then what did you, uh, the style, and then the total sale for the invoice, okay? So we're going to slice and dice this data. That's what we want to do. So the first thing, we're going to come over here. This data are, are set up in a table. So what I can do is I can go month like that, okay? And then what I can do is I can do a function called text, okay, go like that, then this equals text, which is any function in Excel, and then I can click on the at date like this, and I, what I'm going to try to do is get the month from the date. So in this case, I can just do it like this, okay, and then because it's all on a table, it will go through and set up the month just like that, all the way down, okay. So now we want to start up and do our pivot table. So we go insert and go pivot table. And then you can see, because you set it up on a table, it will say table two. And I want to put it on a new worksheet just like that. And so that's good. Okay. And then we're going to come over here and look back at our uh, pivot table here. So we just want to make sure we have the same. So we don't need a filter. But we want to put columns in the month. I'll come back over here. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, month in the columns. All right? And then we'll come back over and we want to put representative in category. Okay? We'll have our representative. And then we'll have our category like this. And then what we want to do is we come, come over here and say total sale goes in the values. So total sale comes right over here in the values. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on value field settings. I'm going to change this to total sale. Because I don't like the, the column name total sale. Okay. Or sum of total sale. I just want it to be total sale like that. And I do want it to be sum. 
because those, that's our sales number. That's our invoice dollar amounts. And so I don't want to count on that because it's a dollar amount. I want to sum it. Okay. So now I'm going to hit sum. And then we can come back over here and look at what we've done. So this shows us, you know, by, um, by sales rep, by category, what were their total sales? And then it shows it by the total. You know, and it also shows it by month across here. So this is a very powerful tool because you can see, well, how much total did we do in the month of May? Okay. And how much total did we do in total? And how much did Eddie Pitts do in total? And then we can break out the, um, for Eddie Pitts, the sales rep, we can break out, well, how much did they do in each category like this? Okay. So this is very powerful. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to rename this sheet one. I'm just going to call it, um, pivot table, um, just call it pivot table one, okay? You can call it whatever you want to, really. Um, I just call it pivot table one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another sheet. I'm going to call this formatted data. I always like to give my uh, sheets sheet names like this, okay? And so what we want to do is we want to set up something like this, where we have our total sales by sales by sales rep. So I'll come over here and I'll just type that in right over here. We'll say total sales by sales rep right there. Okay. And then I can stretch that out. And I'll type in the first one was, if we look back over here, it was Nancy Jones and then Mark Paradisi. Let's see. Jones, Mark, Para, Lisso. Who else did we have? Eddie Pitts. These are all the sales reps. And we also had Mark Stevens. And then finally, we also had Marty Parrish. Okay. And then I can come over here and I can say um, what I'm going to do is I want here, I want to use a function called get pivot data, which allows me to get the pivot data from the pivot table and put it right here. So I'm going to come right over here and say get pivot data. And the name of the uh, field from the pivot table I want to get is total sale. And then we name that total sale. Okay, that's what we named when we went into the pivot table. We named it total sale. And then where do I want to get it? So I'm going to click down here. Is I'm going to click on my pivot table one. I'm going to click on sheet A3 like that. And then I'm going to come back up here to my function. And I'm going to go representative, which is the name of the uh, field in the table, representative. And then what I want to do is I want it to be our... Um, Click back over here. And I want it to be under formatted data. And I want it to be A5 like that. Okay. And what that does is it, and then I can format it. And what that does is it brings in the data from Nancy Jones. If we look over here, Nancy Jones, um, we get our 117, 734, which is her total right there. And we put it in over here using our get pivot data function. Now what I can do is I can come over here and I'm going to put, I'm going to hit F4 and it's going to freeze that cell. So now it's an absolute cell reference. And what I can do is I can now drag down. Okay. And with this one, it probably means that I actually did not type it in right. And see, it's two R's, and that's why it's giving me that reference, that reference error. Okay, and there we go. And so now what we can do is we can come up here and we can say equals sum, and I can sum up all these like this, and then that equals the total, and that matches the total on the uh, on the pivot table. If I click on the pivot table, eighty-seven one fifty-one. All right, that concludes the uh, the video on pivot tables. What I would encourage you to do is to go through and check out the solution and make sure you understand everything else. 
But that's your introduction for, for pivot table. Thank you.